Welcome back, welcome back. It's good to be welcome back. Welcome back. This is CJ's first cooking show. I am CJ, behind this camera is Nate. Uh, right over hi. there is Ethan. And we are excited to show you some magic on the brand new 22 inch accessory pizza. Wow. Oven, which is right there. Well, I'm glad you guys are here. I'm gonna show you a fun way to use the pizza oven, not to just make a pizza, not to just make a flatbread don't, pizza. Don't do it. But we're gonna do like a pulled pork toasted open open face. That's like a sandwich. subway. When they ask toasted, do you want that toasted? Is that how they ask? I don't know, I've never been there. Do you know them? What? Do they, they call, call you at home? home? Do you, do have, you have a dorsal fin? fin? Do you have a dorsal fin? <laughs> let's uh let's go and do this, shall we? Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> And you can quote him. So come on, everyone, it's the day's first show. Now the beauty of this specific pulled pork sandwich is we're gonna do a hack, so to speak. Uh, we're, we obviously don't have a, you know, giant hunk of pulled pork out here. But for those that might be on the go with their 22 adventure. The bench. The adventure. The old. It's totes, totes adorbs, adventure. Adventure. <laughs> totes my goats. Cool. Adventure ready. Uh, this is a fun way that you can load this up in a cooler and take this with you and whip up a tasty pulled pork sandwich in your new pizza oven. Now, before we get going with that, there's one thing that I want to start with, and that is going to be preheating the pizza oven. That's what I was going to say. That is correct. And we're Where gonna have go? that probably um, between the four and five hundred marker sure. um, ish. Kind of play around with it. I'm actually still playing around with it and learning from it. Brand so new. It is brand I'm new. Spanking new. But a fun hack is uh, this coleslaw recipe that I'm about to show you guys. I don't like traditional coleslaw that you get like at the grocery mm. store. If you go and make your own, this is the best way to do it. Grab yourself a bag of this vegetable slaw. Let's throw that into a bowl here. And we want to do this at the beginning because basically what we're doing is a quick pickle. Quick pickle. So followed behind that, we've got some red wine vinegar. We're gonna oh, get it we swimming. We want, we swimming. definitely want that. I, I want it swimming. Deep in? I can't take this no more. For deep years. in, why there's a fountain no. flowing deep no. in. You sure? It was like a question. Dude, now, you went to Sunday school and I went to Sandlot. And these Sunday school kids are tough! So check it out, check it out. Here's another thing that I want to do. Um, of course we're using a red wine vinegar, Wait, but... into your slaw? I'm going to go ahead and take some of this delicious vinegar that's with our what? banana peppers. And I'm going to pour that in there. It's going to give us uh, a You're really... a maniac. I'm an absolute... Maniac. Would a maniac do this? Look like bait. <laughs> I want a little bit of sweet in this, so I'm going to add a little bit of sucre, a little bit of sugar, just um, some table sugar, like table salt. I don't use sugar. I'm sweet enough. Then I'm also going to do a hefty pinch of coarse black, you know what, two pinches of coarse black pepper and a little bit of Charlie. Speaking of Charlie, dude, Charlie Sheen, that guy, he's a, he's a, he's a fanatic. Hey, CJ, did you know? What Charlie Sheen had to do to get his strung out look and say in Ferris Bueller's day off? Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I know. You know, right, Nate? Yeah, he, yeah, just, he just stayed he up for a couple days. days right? Got any more brain, brain busters? busters. <laughs> any more brain busters? <laughs> I do. Um, did you know that John Hughes pitched the whole film in one sentence by saying, I know I want to do a movie about a kid taking the day off from school, but that's all I know. And since he had a good repertoire, um, they just let him do it. Ooh, and triple fact. Whoa, whoa! Because there was a upcoming uh, writer strike, he wrote the whole film in four days so that he could not do it with the strike and stuff. So, so he, uh, so he kind of did what Charlie Sheen did, staying awake for four days instead of two. I was unaware of that. I did not know that. I was, uh, I was unaware, but I will ring it and bring it for that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir! <laughs> That was, do you know what that reference was from? <laughs> do you think I do? <laughs> <laughs> so, I sent Nate to the grocery store and I said, pick me up a hoagie roll. Yeah, that looked better. I don't disagree with you. It what? looks freaking awesome. All right. Yes. So thank you, my man. So we're gonna go ahead, let's just do one massive sandwich. I dig it. Okay, we're gonna cut this in half. 
give this another slice. Now I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go all the way slice through. Um, we're gonna do kind of do you dude this dates me back, style. back back in the day at Subway they used to slice out the triangle in the I center and pull that days. off. Turkey filled cold cut combo. Dude, Triangular. I remember these days. I don't know why that just popped in my head. I don't either, but I'm glad. And, Jared uh, would approve. I, I don't know why they stopped doing it. I'm sure there's a reason. But um, they did this for every single sandwich that I, I ever like had it. there. And this then, makes more sense of like an open face because that's what we're going to do with the pizza. Oven. Should we triangle it? Do it. All right. So now we've got some uh, Jack Daniels Tennessee honey pulled Pork. And if you've made your own pulled pork or brisket or any, really any, Hon honestly, just not pre-cooked chicken. I just couldn't let it go, boy. This is a hack. I highly recommend that you do your own um, and uh, make it on your own. Let me use a different knife, not just a bread knife there. And make it on your own. But in the event that you, you know, wanted to do something quick and grab, grab the, another yeah, shot at it. Yeah, let me give this one more try. <laughs> let me give this one more try. Maybe switch to the bread knife. You know what? Maybe just <laughs> shut, shut your freaking mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth! All right, this is a simple build, boys. Let's get this. We're gonna fill up this bad boy. Now, get your grilled, or not your grilled, get your cheese on there. And then we're gonna go ahead and take that over to the oven. Dang. Head on over here. That's supposed to be gigantic and full. Yeah. A little full? A little, it's a Lots little bit out. on the full side. Um, hopefully. And I got the peel Whoa. just for safety. It's too tall? No. No. Whoa. Okay. So we're essentially using this now as a broiler, it's a broiler. salamander. A what? Salamander? What in the world is that? Can I know tool? Oh. Yeah, you didn't know that? Yeah. You didn't know that? <laughs> um, now I, we just need a couple minutes, and then we're gonna top it off, and we'll be done. We'll bring it and bring it, you crazy. Jeez. All right. All right. Now you notice I use tongs because I was. A little worried, and okay. So now here was a here's a scenario that didn't play out in my head as I was <laughs> producing this. Uh, we did the triangle thing. I made a quick pickle slaw, and it's gonna be delicious it's and beautiful. refreshing. So, how are you gonna put that on that? I'm still working on that. It's gonna have to watch this. Watch I'm this. I'm watching. So sugar. Yeah. Sugar. Goodbye. Hello. You say goodbye, and I, I say, say hello. Hello! hello. <laughs> uh, and now we have delicious, refreshing, cold on the slaw side. on the side. If you wanted, you could serve it with banana peppers, because I was going to put those and stuff inside of there as well. But, ex facto. You got meat and cheese and bread. Can't go wrong with that. But you knew, you know what I can do and what I most certainly need to do? I need to post drizzle this a with some, cue. with a little bit more barbecue sauce. Now this, um, I would actually use this over the sauce that was in the Jack Daniels like pre-done. But again, this is a quick hack. So I'm gonna go ahead and post drizzle this mm -hmm. uh, with some sauce since we've got okay. the cheese and the beauty. Cheesy sauce. I'm gonna do up, up here at the front a little bit more. One more, one more skosh. Yep. Dang. So we called some audibles on the play while we were cooking. That happens sometimes. You can adapt, if you will. All right, so here's the thing. That's really good. Um, Texture for days. The crispy exterior, that melty cheese, the only thing that would have made it, well, any better. The coleslaw was inside? Is if I had some delicious, refreshing coleslaw tucked into there. <laughs> <laughs> Another audible. Another audible. Take it easy, Brett Favre. You need a liter of cola? Well, you just order a large Favre. Dude. Yep. Leave it in the comments below. What are your thoughts about the Subway Edition cut? Should we have done just a full traditional open slice? I like the Subway cut. This Old is pretty rad. Cut. But in the meantime, it is now time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. From impressive to obsessive, a little spice and the not so nice, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. So this is the segment of the show where we highlight you, the viewers, and if you write it, we read it. That's how this game is played, and we have a whole lot of fun doing it. So, starting from the top, in no particular order, this one comes in from Jade Kilgore. Jade says, 
I had to wait through two ads to get here. I finally made it. <laughs> Tell Bam uh, Magara in the background to hush. So apparently, two things. It's Bam Margera, and I look nothing like him. Well, I don't- She can't even see me on this show. I don't know that that's true because um, I had another person. Yeah, also wrong. <laughs> Jade Kilgore, again, belly laughed at hoo hoo, I wasn't ready. Why does Nate look like the great value version of Bam Margera? I'm Answer the great me value. This. I'm the great value version. Maybe or he's the great, great value, value version, version of, of you. Me. Probably not. Yeah, probably not. Let's. You do have to ring it. <laughs> there we go. I guess. I guess. J D Selby one says, "I need the goofiness to survive a week until CJ's next show." Oh. So happy Cheers we could provide. You. Was that J D? J D Selby one. Nice. Cheers, J D. All right, this is a rad one. Uh, this comes in from Todd Gross. Or Gross. I'm pretty sure it's Gross, but not Probably like gross. L. Ooh. Like point gross blank. What was that? Point blank. Point blank. Gross Woo! point blank. Woo! Jeez. Man. We're back. S strike that. Reverse it. Strike that. Reverse it. Uh, Todd says, this is the best co cooking show ever. My three boys and I do our Father's Day golf outing, and the only conversations we have is made up of movie quotes. Your format is spot on. Nice. And the recipes are great. Just got my Blackstone two days ago, and now had to order a bell for my outdoor bar. Hey, welcome Dude. to the Griddle Nation. And right here's on. To you producing your own cooking show. Being a cool dad, watching cool shows, movie quoting it up. Getting a bell. Oh, this comes from another Tom. Another Tom. Two Toms don't make a right. Am I, am right? I right? Am, am I right? right? Am I right or right? Right. Right. right? right. Am I right or am I right or am I right? Right. Tom Walter says, I'm loving your show. I'm from Montana and I just got a Blackstone. Made smash burgers last night. They need some work. Did some quesadillas tonight. Outstanding. Topped with Mike's hot honey, Mazetta uh, pepper, pepper Nietzsche, or pepperoncini, pe pepper something. Pepper Nietzsche. Yeah, that Bam too. Margera. <laughs> this guy. Uh, and fresh uh, mandarins on the side. It's a keeper. By the way, I like Eric Clapton, Jimmy Buffett, and anything country. Happy trails to you. Wait, he wrote Tom. it in song? He's just said happy trails, Tom. Oh. Until we meet again. again. Happy, happy trails, trails to you. You did two bells, that was good. It was on accident, so. Well, it worked out well. Well, that really worked out. Yeah. And to wrap this one up, we are gonna hear a little something from Brian Larson. Brian says, CJ, um, it doesn't just look good, it looks really good. Mm. But is it a quad walk of shame kind of good? Quad walk. Ha ha. So a here's quad the, walk of shame. The quad walk is, it's a rare sighting. It's like seeing a polar bear in the wild for the first time. It was on our live. I forgot a couple things. Did some things I decided I needed. So I decided <laughs> to make another walk or two. Point being, you should watch our lives on YouTube. Yeah. They're a lot of fun. We're working on the stability and the quality. The quality. Let's just yeah. ring it to the quad walk. To the quad walk! That's for you. We're right going there. streaking on the quad! We're going streaking through the quad! And that, my friends, is how we wrap it up on CJ's first cooking show. Thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, we're not in the bar because the pizza oven is taking up the bar space. We gotta find a spot for that stuff. The bar real estate. Uh, yeah, we gotta find a permanent spot for that. But so glad you guys hung out with us. Hope you enjoyed this audible pulled pork, uh, you know. Toasted Sammy. sandwich. Sando. It was a fun one. It's sandwich. a fun one. You can make it your own. Add whatever toppings. Be sure to figure out a way to put them in there if you're going to do the triangle thing. <laughs> or, or just do up, the traditional slice. Uh, traditional slice. But either way, go to blackstoneproducts.com for this recipe and tons of other stuff. Also, while you're at it, you should go check out my man, uh, TD's Broom Barbecue. This barbecue sauce is freaking phenomenal. There's tons of other stuff. Uh, you'll dig it, I, I assure you. Uh, but in the meantime, this is CJ's first cooking show where we cook. And we quote. That's exactly right. And we ring the bell. And we also go to griddlenation.com to buy some swag and stickers. And bye bye Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.